the case of Radislav Kristak, the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia, the ICTI, connected the link between rape and ethnic cleansing. In the case of Knurak et al., the judgment clearly defined rape as a tool of war. Nevertheless, in the case of Radislav Kristak, the tribunal established a link between rape and ethnic cleansing which in the context of Srebrenica crimes in July 1995 was closely associated with genocide. Oroslav Prostik was a general in the Bosnian Serb army and commander of the Drina Corps during the operation which resulted in the execution of more than 7,000 Bosnian Muslim boys and men from Srebrenica in July 1995. As Srebrenica fell under Bosnian Serb army control, about 20-30 thousand of its Muslim residents, mostly women, children and the elderly, fled to the nearby village of Tokari. Several thousand sought protection inside the UN military camp. So the soldiers entered the compound, mingled in a crowd, and threatened, beat and kill people. The soldiers also committed many acts of rape. The trial chamber found Kurstik responsible for the crimes committed in Tokari including the rapes, which were deemed as natural and foreseeable consequences of the ethnic cleansing campaign. The judges noted that although ethnic cleansing was not a legal term, it had been used in various legal analyses before. The trial chamber concluded that there were obvious similarities between a genocidal policy and a policy commonly known as ethnic cleansing. The rapes in Potokare did not form part of Krasik's conviction for aiding and abetting genocide, as the events in Potokare were a prelude to the subsequent genocide. In 2004, the Appeal Chamber upheld the sexual violence convictions. Radislav Krasik was sentenced to 35 years imprisonment.